All right, so today on the CF-19, we're going to remove the lid, the top cover of your LCD. All right, normally you would have side covers. This unit does not because it's broken, so let me get some and just mock them up real quick. Okay, there's a total of 16 screws to remove these black side covers. You have eight on the, the top, eight on the inside of the LCD. Once you remove those, close your lid and just simply remove them. Okay, so once you've got these removed, we can go ahead and work on, I'm sorry, moving the unit all the way around, all over the place. Um, we can start to work on the 12 screws that hold this lid together, okay? But, if you've noticed, I have a hinge cover on here. So we have to remove this first. And to remove this, you grab your zero, number zero screwdriver, remove the two screws on the outside, and then we'll have to open the, the lid, okay? You can either rotate it, you know, make it a little bit easier on yourself or whatever. Just remove the two other screws. This computer is really dirty. I'll have to clean this one up. Okay, so then you remove those four screws and you simply just slide it away. Okay. So now we have four screws on each corner, six on uh, six on each, uh, three on each side, making six, and then the two the, the two big ones. I used a I use a Dewalt battery powered screwdriver with a number one bit on torque setting three only to remove the screws. Just breaks the seal nicely. Except for on these. Okay. I have to grab a bigger one. Okay. So then ah, whoever put this one on to put it on there nice and tight. There we go. I don't know why they did it so tight, but all right. Normally they're not that hard, difficult to get off. Uh, okay, so then you just break that loose. Just go all the way around the unit. grab my plastic pry tool and I stick it right here on the middle screw just lift up on it and lift it away and there you have it that's how you remove the lid on the CF-19 also CF-18s they're all the same if you have side covers usually you just remove your side covers and then you'll be able to access all of this and to simply put this back together well obviously you just reverse the steps we'll go ahead and pop this on just so you know, we're getting closer and closer to actually doing a complete removal, a, a complete disassembly of this unit. I will be bringing it down to just nothing but the case uh, in, a, in a later video. I do a, a, set, a torque setting three on the two big screws here. The reason I do that is because they're on the, they attach the hinges. And then just do a torque setting number two, uh, uh, torque setting two on the on the remainder of the screws. Okay. Let me just. We're just replacing all the screws again. So you have 12 screws holding the lid together. Okay, and then you just simply replace your side covers. Let me just mock that up real quick. You just pop these puppies back in there. 
Okay, and then there you have it. Then you reinstall your 16 screws, eight on the top, eight on the inside of the LCD. Okay, and then after you do that, you know, you could do the hinge cover at the same time. Do the hinge cover at the same time, and then you could just replace the screws on the outside and on the inside. I'm not going to replace this because I have other little things I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm just going to keep this one off just to make it a little easier on myself. Well, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Again, replace the lid if it's broken, smashed, cracked, it's got a hole in it. Um, yeah. Alright, well thanks for watching again.